Hey guys, and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and now joining me in the studio is a phenomenal poet, ex Blue Brain, but they call you Blue, right? They do call me they Blue. They call you Blue. How yes. are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. You know, when you walked in the door, you were just full of energy. Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. I made a mini video. I was like, I'm on STL TV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So talk about your life as a poet. You're a full-time poet. How I does am. that happen? Uh, it's a decision. Uh -huh. It's an interesting decision, but it was one that I made wholeheartedly. I have a great support system. My family is behind me. My children are behind me. So it's like, you know, I do it all the way every day. Right. <laughs> everything in my life, business-wise, it's, it's centered around poetry from That's everything so that cool. I do. Now yeah. talk about how you got started. How did you know you, that you were a poet? And uh, I've technically been writing since I was 12, mm -hmm. but I went through a... I guess you say an emotionally traumatic event, mm -hmm. and it just propelled me into, I wrote one piece, and it resonated with me. And what really let me know that this was something that I was good at was I just started sharing, and people's like, oh my God, that helped me. And I was like, oh, I helped somebody. Wow. And the more I did it, the more it helps people. So I'm like, yeah, this, this it feels good. It, yeah. it makes sense to me, you know? It's like, yeah, this is what I do. So you've been writing since you were 12. Mm -hmm. When did you go into this full time? Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Two years ago is when I went yeah. into it full time. What was that transition like? <sighs> Interesting. Uh, you crazy. What you doing? You're not supposed to be doing this. You lost your mind. Right. What is poetry? Poetry is not a legitimate business. How are you going to feed your children? All the, all the questions that people ask when they care about you and they love you. And mm -hmm. it's like, I got this. And day by day, they're like, okay, she does have this. Okay, okay, we're good then. Speaking of children, yes. you have six. I could not believe <laughs> that you have six children. I have six amazing wow. children. And tell us, tell us a little bit about them. Okay, well, they vary in ages. I have a 16-year-old son named Christian who was a singer, dancer. I have a 12-year-old daughter named, uh, 10-year-old daughter, I'm sorry, named Delicia. She's mm -hmm. my princess. I have a 12-year-old son, Dallas, athlete. Five-year-old son who is named Caleb, discovering the world. Mm -hmm. Then I have Deanna. She's 14, and she is just... Delicious. Then I have a two-year-old that runs the entire house, and his <laughs> name is Cyril, and he just does everything. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That is, I bet your house is very interesting. You probably need your own reality TV you show. You know what? <laughs> People would be afraid. They would be afraid. Yeah, now, that's this is one of your books, right? Yes. It's uh, actually the first of a series of six books. Mm -hmm. uh, single with Six is basically me being a single mom and I have six amazing children. And each book is going to be significant to what is important about that child. Wow. And with him, he's actually a product of two poets. So it's strictly a poetry book to moms, just encouraging moms to, you know, keep doing it. It's hard, but hey, we love you. So, yeah. so yeah. So what propels you to keep moving? Where does your, where do your inspirations come from? Actually, my biggest inspiration is my grandmother. She passed two years ago, mm -hmm. and so she didn't really get a chance to see me do this. And so it's like, you know what? I know she'd be proud of me. Mm -hmm. And so it's like her approval is something that every day, you know, of course we say children, God, people, but for me, most importantly, it's the, it's the reminder of my grandmother because she was a poet herself. So, okay. yeah. Now, I have two books of yours right here. Yes. I have Pain for Growth. Can you tell us a little bit? How, where did your name come from? Ex <laughs> Ex Blue Rain. Actually, my original poetry name was Blue Rain by Fire. Uh -huh. And one of my friends said I sound like a superhero. <laughs> so <laughs> I dropped the Blue Rain by, the, by Fire, just mm -hmm. kept the Blue Rain. And it wasn't until 2010 was when I felt like I was centered. Mm -hmm. And I was right where I was supposed to be. So X was basically for me a positionary type thing. So, so you're an X marks the spot. Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about the poetry that's in here? Okay, Rain for Growth is actually one of, like a food for thought book. Mm -hmm. You know, I read, I love food for thought books. They little quotes. You be like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, you know, why don't we do it in a poetic form? Mm -hmm. So that's basically just different topics and just strictly dealing with uh, the strictly written in poetry. Okay. I have another one here, Blue yes. Light. Blue Life. Blue Life. This is my first book. All my books, I do the graphic work. I self-publish. I do it myself. That's amazing. And Blue Life is an amazing book. My family is in here. My mom, my, my sisters, my brothers, my dad. And it's basically poems that are very significant to specific times of my life. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to, you know, share it. I, I wasn't, I'm not comfortable yet writing a complete novel. So poetry is my language right now. So and, I was able to do it. self-published and everything. Yes. How did you manage to do all of that? Research. Mm -hmm. When you're an independent artist, you have to find the resources. Nobody's going to walk up and say, here, 
you know, otherwise right. we'd have more millionaire independent artists. Right. So it was basically just seeing what was out there. You guys, we got so much more coming up with X Blue Rain, aka Blue. Right <laughs> after this, you remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on in St. Louis. You have to watch, you guys. You can follow us on Twitter, you can friend us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. If you really want to experience St. Louis, you guys, you have to watch. Look at this. You're learning more information. We're going to come back more with X Blue Rain. She has a lot more to talk about so stay tuned.